And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Following the fumble recovery, Gilbert. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Cowboys are in. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. From the six. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Come on now. Let's do this. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Cook following the penalty. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. On second down at four. Cousins. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And a return will stop right around the 25. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaking up down there on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. A little jet sweep to start the drive. They juked him. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. To throw is Gilbert. On the left side, Gallup's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Zerline good with a PAT. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Our eyes shift to the defense of the Cowboys now. And so far, their game plan, whatever it's been on this side of the football, working pretty well. And I like where you went there, the game plan. You know that they spent all week watching tape, evaluating, putting together that game plan that they thought would be effective. But there's nothing like seeing it actually work on game day. <laughs> what we're seeing here, wow, what a performance by them so far. Cousins now to throw on first down. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 41 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. And that's why Dalvin Cook is the Minnesota Vikings feature back. You put the ball in his hands, good things.
things happen. Second in the NFL last year in rushing with 1,557 yards, and that's now back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons for 30 combined total touchdowns. What a player is Dalvin Cook. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Handoff comes to Cook, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Cousins on first down. That'll be complete to Cook. And he loses the football a second time. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery yeah, and slippery. hard to Minneapolis, we welcome you inside spacious U.S. Bank Stadium. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So here are the Cowboys now, ready to go on offense for the first time. Leading him out in his eighth season from SMU, the former Mustang at quarterback Garrett Gilbert. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Gilbert. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Gilbert gonna take a shot for Gallup and that is incomplete Michael Gallup that's who he was looking for and it's second down and Charles despite this list of key inactives that we see here they've obviously still been pretty successful give everyone credit for this one because to me when that happens key guys are out the next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Here's Gilbert. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And the Minnesota offense ready to go to work here. Their quarterback in his 10th season overall now. And fourth is a Viking, Kirk Cousins. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. Second down, they go right back to Cook. Now Cook hit, and he lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. There are two. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 
let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yard. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. On second down now. It's Cook. He can't get him down. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. On third down, Cousins. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. A first down throw for Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. And power running here down to the six-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. D.D. Westbrook, his second touchdown on the season. And the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Pollard. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They very football. <laughs> offense take care of the defense. Defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes... Now, Cook hit, and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive, because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play calls seem to be... Exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there. Grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. The Patriot offense back out, getting set to go. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. 
You can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. 57 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Now Newton. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players nipping and try and cover up the football? And they still find ways to knock it free. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Connects here with the tight end, Blake Jarwin. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is caught. Touchdown. A great play there with his third touchdown so far, number 13 now on the year and the Cowboys add on to their lead and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory we talk so often about how hard it is to win and turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two score lead and what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself you've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay they're able to do so here and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. So the Patriots coming out now. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that? Bad taste out of their mouth here. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton, he'll drop it underneath to White, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing is Newton. Being chased at King fighting. He lost the football. It's out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and we've seen it because we've been at a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it. Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling, maybe we ask them to help us with the laterals as well <laughs> and make that a better play what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield. There has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And he 
he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Going for it all. And yeah, that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Cowboys are looking to run it to 5-1 and one on the season as they add to their fourth quarter lead. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. There is all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They're going to look to throw. And he's got his big tight end here. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. He'll drop to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. One man in the backfield. That's Elliott on second and goal. They'll set up to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good positioning and it's picked off. And the Pats are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, this has been a bit of a tough game to figure out when it comes to him throwing the football. He's got the three touchdown passes, but now, Charles, this is a third interception. And those aren't really numbers that you'd like to see balance out. In a normal ledger sheet, if you can balance everything, you feel good about your day. But as a quarterback... Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. Oh, look at the... And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. So many times, tight games decided by one big play. And a lot of times, of course, it's the offense. Here, it's the defense coming up huge. And you know head coaches walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas saying, guys, somebody make a play. It's a cliche.
Number two. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Time for our player spotlight, and it focuses in here on Cam Newton. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. They'll run it here. This is James White. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Neville Gallimore on the stop. Second and eight coming up. They go with White on the counter. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Now, after that last running play, we've got an offensive lineman down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. On first down, Newton. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And Jacoby Myers made the team as an undrafted free agent. He's one of the few holdovers from last year. And he was the most productive. Led the team with 59 catches. Wants to add a few more to his career total as this game moves on. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Off the draw, here's Michelle. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Again, it's Michelle. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 24. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Sony Michelle, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that will tie our game here in the third. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Now Pollard. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play here for Dallas. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off? And coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational. 
Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Kyle Van Noy. He's at the 50, the 30, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So they had a good drive going, a chance to build on this first half lead, but now you kind of feel like we got a new ball game. And you wonder what the discussion will be now at halftime because I think we were headed towards one. Now it's a different discussion altogether. One side optimistically, the other side wondering what could have been. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. James White, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Full connects on the extra point. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is Tony Pollard. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give him an incentive, and let him... A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. And yeah, they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big connection on that one. 32 yards. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. As time expires in the first half of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Zerline good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. The Patriot offense ready to go to work for the first time and leading them out. Their quarterback in his second year with New England at 11th overall, the former MVP Cam Newton. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. 
The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Newton now to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They fake the give. Newton. He'll buy some time. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And Michelle will have the first down and more. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually... And he's going to go down again. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Another try after the first down sack. Newton, they'll roll him out right. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Well, I think this is a free play for Newton. And he'll be seeing. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. together and you get the field goal block that's been designed that's been drawn up everyone has to feel good about on that side of the ball how about that one there to the left side knew what they had that's where they wanted to be and they got their designated guy turned free they'll come out throwing here to start the drive and the throw left sideline here is caught but they'll rule it incomplete couldn't keep his feet in second down Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Last week, several good performances in the NFC, but he was the conference's offensive player of the week, well over 100 yards. And just the ability to make catches. You know, that gets underplayed sometimes because we're always looking for the move or the big run. And, but catch the football consistently, that lacks up the yardage. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers, the fun stuff. Then he padding for out of down. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's showing off that arm, showing it off very well. They've got the lead. Don't forget, though, about the protection he's had. The protection's been good. And I'll guarantee you, he hasn't forgotten about it at all because that's keeping him clean in the pocket. Those deep passes come true. I mean, it's just been beautiful for him to do. But guess what? In the huddle, on the sidelines, guaranteed he's thanking those big guys up front for keeping him safe. I have a feeling he made by dinner. <laughs> Indeed, entertaining to relive some of those deep balls. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, you know, this club, there were some reports earlier in the week, and most have heard this by now, the so-called unnamed sources that were saying, all is not rosy in that locker room. There's whispers that one or two guys, CD, have kind of had enough of how things are going and have been going. How would you handle that as a coach? Well, you and I both know all the coaches that we've dealt with and come in contact with. 
They'd love to get their hands on those unnamed sources, wouldn't they? But they know that that's not possible, so I think they've got to go in there and make sure that this isn't a distraction. They also know that once the grumbling starts, it becomes a slippery slope and it's hard to stop the fall. I think you need to sit some guys down and say, hey, look, we're still hoping to be a playoff team this year. We need you guys to be bought in with what we're doing. Come on, let's get on board. And he's gonna lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're gonna go for it on fourth and seven. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. He probably talked about his training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Second and three. They'll fire this deep for Gallup, and that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll drop to throw. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have uh, no doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Again, he'll drop to throw. Touchdown, Cowboys! A great play there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team to operate from the red zone now on first down. It's now ready to go on offense for the first time. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And he's been playing at an elite level here in this early half of the search from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They were winners last time out.